So, here we have all of 0.2 from the main branch on GitHub. And that's basically the app image you can get from Olive's official site. And it gives nightly builds, so we have always the latest. Pretty cool stuff? But let me quickly show you the problem with this build. First I'm gonna create a new sequence, all the faults. And next I will add two solids. That is the same as normal video clips. On the same video channel, although that doesn't matter. A solid is basically a texture with a color, okay? And what's going on now? is this mess on node editor that displays all the nodes from all the clips in our project. For example it shows the nodes for both the two solids. Even if we've only selected a single clip, or both, it doesn't matter, all the same. And obviously we can't work like that. So I open this issue, mostly to learn what's the plan design approach on this problem, because obviously that couldn't have been. And then the developer pointed me to a pull request, that unfortunately I had missed. As you can see this PR is work in progress, but still good enough to make a demo for you. And I'm doing this mostly for the people already tried the nightly builds from the official Olive site, and I guess they got disappointed with the results. But there is nothing to worry about, and great things are coming. So next I wrote a flatpak build file to try the changes. And the day everything will be ready, there will be a flatpak for it too. And so, this is our flatpak build from the previous PR and we're gonna repeat the same steps as before and spot the differences. So we create a new sequence as before, and we keep everything default again. And again, we're gonna recreate our two solids, on the same video track. And what we see now, with nothing selected, is that on Node Editor we only have our timeline tracks, one video and one audio. And if we select one solid, we only have the solid nodes as it should. And let me put one more solid, on a different track maybe. And now if we select both solids we have both their nodes. So basically that's the main difference, and everything's now super nice to work. So let's do some work on the node editor, and let's start by picking the solid here. Select the node window and press the key above tab to full screen it. Basically what we're gonna do here is to add a transformation node to our solid. Although I guess on next all of versions all items will have transformation properties by default. Anyway, that's our transformation node, and then we need to expand the node properties for making the connections. So, with control key down, we want to connect the solid's color property to the texture of the transformation node. And then, we want to connect the transformation node to the output. And perhaps there are some awkward things here, but all of this still on early development so things are subject to change. But until then, let's continue with what we have at the moment. So now we have our transformation options, but first I will change the solid color so we can actually recognize it. And now with transform selected, we even get handlers to resize or move it directly from the previewer. So basically that's all for now. But one thing I'd like to add, is that Olive Editor isn't just yet another open source project. It is actually a very good video editor that on certain workflows literary beats everything else. The blender of the video editors. Stay with